So the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm going to multiply this, I realize that there's only a couple options that my problem could be. I know that the first two terms have to give me 4x. So I know it could be 4x times x, right? And there's actually two examples of that. Or it could be 2x and 2x, 2x and 2x. Do you guys agree with me that all those front terms all mad all add, multiply to give me 4x squared? Does everybody agree? Yes. Sir. yes. Thank you. OK. Now I need to pick out numbers that are going to multiply to give me 2, right? Yes? So I could have a 2 here and a 1 here. I could have a 1 here and a 2 there. 1 here, 2 there, 2 there, or a 1 there. Does everybody agree with me? Yes, sir. Now, there's a couple things we need to understand. When you are multiplying them, that's giving you a positive number. So either both of my numbers have to be positive or both of them have to be negative. However, when I add my middle and I add my outer, I have a negative number. Right? So I need to get negatives from somewhere. So therefore, these numbers have to, both my factors have to be negative. I don't even have to concern myself with the positive factors because I know they have to be negative. Because a negative, do you guys agree that all these n terms all give me positive too? But when I multiply my inner and my outer, I need to get negative 9. So you can see this one, 4x times negative 1 is a negative 4x. Minus 2x is a negative 6x. That doesn't work. So then I go to the next one. And guess what? Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. 4 times 2, negative 2, is negative 8x. Negative 8x plus negative 9x works, right? So that is my factored polynomial. Ta-da.